how's it going? In this video, I'm talking all about Walmart maternity clothes. Okay. So before we get this video started, I have a couple of confessions to make. I am sort of a self-titled maternity clothes snob, if you will. I am really picky with maternity clothes. I only shop at specific places. I just think it's really easy to sort of like not look your best for me anyway. And when I think about sort of outfit challenges, I was really excited to do a Walmart maternity outfit challenge. So that is what this video originally was going to be. I was going to try and buy a bunch of different items from Walmart and put together maternity outfits and just give you guys some ideas and things for like a really good price point because I'm not above Walmart by any means. I buy groceries there, I buy beauty products there. I have certainly bought clothes from there before as well too. So yeah, I was like, what a great idea. It's gonna be maternity outfits on a budget from Walmart, which almost everyone has access to. So that was the idea. <laughs> and then I ordered stuff. And the stuff that came in, I picked it up and I was like, I, I don't even think I can make, I can't make outfits with this stuff. I just, I couldn't even do it. So what this video has now become is a sort of review and regrets video. I'm gonna take you guys through everything that I ordered and I'm gonna really, really just show you like the real honest truth about what you might be buying from Walmart and what you can expect and uh, sort of just guide you on where to buy your maternity clothes. So this has sort of been my rule with maternity in general. Um, but especially when buying from a place that doesn't really specifically specialize in maternity, my sort of like rule of thumb has been keep it very simple and change up your outfits with accessories because your bump ends up being the biggest accessory anyway. So if you start to get really busy with like prints and patterns and like crazy outfits, it just is gonna look way too loud and way too much. And because Walmart doesn't like specialize in maternity wear, I was like, okay, let's just keep it simple and get a bunch of accessories. So that's exactly what I've done. I have accessories, shoes, hats, clothing, things to mix and match, things to wear on its own. And I have to tell you, okay, it's not all bad. Some of the stuff is actually surprisingly really good. It was just a really interesting haul altogether. <laughs> so let's get started. All right, so this is the first item. And this, I know you guys are like, this is not maternity at all, but it's one of those things that I was like, okay, I want like a cute accessory. And I was planning to wear this hat with like a plain white tee and maternity leggings and then like sneakers or something like that. That was like sort of my goal with this. I was afraid to buy leopard though, I'm not gonna lie because I know sometimes leopard can look really cheesy and really tacky. And shockingly enough, this actually isn't too, too bad. The print is not tacky looking in, in person. It is like a little bit loud, but if you just really stick to like a white tee and black leggings, or even just like a white or black dress, like plain and simple with like plain sneakers, um, this actually really shockingly isn't a bad item. And it's just got a Velcro. It's like technically a snapback, but it's just got a Velcro back. Yeah, I was like pr pretty impressed with that. I think it was $9.99. So not a terrible purchase. The one thing you need to know about Walmart and their maternity clothes is is, so first of all, I had to get all of this stuff online because of our insane lockdown. There are some maternity items in the stores, but I, I don't really see a consistent like maternity section in all of the Walmarts that I've had access to. There's a ton around me. There's one main one that I always go to that's the closest to me. And even there they have like the odd piece, but it's not like here, all the maternity clothes. So it's even lockdown or not, it's just easier to get everything online. However, you have to be aware that Walmart outsources to China. So you're really ordering direct from like Chinese wholesalers. So my package, like I did one big order and my items came all separately from like places that didn't even have anything Walmart on it. It had like all this like Chinese writing and like the Chinese wholesalers address. Just be aware of that for sizing wise and like quality also. Before you check out, it will say like some of these items are third party sellers and some of these items do come from Walmart. So yeah, it's just good to know that and uh, be aware. Okay, so on the hats, again, these are not maternity specific, but it's summer. I've wanted to do a lot of like maternity swimwear stuff. And I was like, I just want like, some cute hats. I had so many cute hats like this, like these sun hats. And then I moved to a condo and I just like got rid of so much stuff, which makes me sad because I had the nicest hats, but I was just like, how often do I really wear them? And the answer is like really not often. It's mostly in the summer. But with that being said, I do want to eventually just like invest in a really good one. 
but um, I thought this was like pretty decent for Walmart. There's two, cause I guess I just I checked off two by accident. Like I didn't mean to order two. Um, I'm gonna return one, but these are like pretty cute, honestly. Like they're, the shape is good. They did come a little bit, yeah, like, so you can see this, they did come a little bit messed up. All I did was put a towel around it and like iron it. I think I did the other one cause this one clearly has wrinkles in it still. Uh, yeah, I think I must've done this one. Um, and then the, just this plain black, like sort of fabric around it makes it look a little bit more high-end, a little bit more expensive. And yeah, like I mentioned, the uh, shape is like pretty decent and it's just sort of your standard sun hat and you can't really go wrong with something like this. The color is like very, very neutral and basic. And for the price, I was impressed with this item as well. I think this was maybe around like $18. It wasn't very expensive. You can tell it's not gonna last very long. <laughs> and if anyone sits on it, it's probably gonna be ruined. But if you take decent care of it and uh, you know, you're pretty, fair with it. I'm sure you could get a couple of wearers out of it, at least for like a summer or a season and then get something else the next one. Okay. We have another accessory and this is a bag. And are you guys, are you guys ready to die? Um, I don't know what I was thinking. I didn't, to be honest with you, I didn't have like super high expectations for this. It's obviously not even close to being real leather or anything like that, but I did still think it would be like kind of decent <laughs> like i have some faux leather bags that like are really cute and they're there were like 30 or 40 dollars and they they look nice they don't look cheap uh but this is another level so i'm gonna show you guys <laughs> i think everything from like the construction of it to even just the color the color actually is doesn't look terrible in the camera i can notice but in real life, this is like the ugliest, like knockoff cognac color. There's also just this random brand in the middle of it. Like I've never even heard of that. I don't think it's English and it's just like so random. And then like, look at these straggly little straps. They're all wrinkled. And then like, there's this gold, de like the shape is cute, but that's about it. And then it's like this little zipper thing. And it kind of comes, you know what? It comes with a bunch of different stuff inside. So like, I will say the bang for your buck is pretty good, but um, I was just like, oh my God, I can't even. Also the way that they advertise it on the website was more of like a tote. And I guess you would call this a tote, but it's just like, I feel like if I put one thing in this, it's gonna break. And it's just, yeah, this was an unfortunate item. This, I was like, I can't even like put this in an outfit, even in a photo because it, it's just that bad. So stay away from the bags. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about this. Okay, I got some slides. I just got them in a really neutral color. They're really cheap looking. So you guys can see right here, this is like, it looks like there was, it was almost a mold and someone just like quickly cut it to like make the shoe. Yeah, you can't really wear these out, but I would wear these around the house as like slippers and they are really comfortable. Like they have a huge thick padded base and you're when, when you're pregnant, oh my God, your feet hurt so much all the time, especially as you get like further into your third trimester. I'm 31 weeks, so I'm like around eight months almost. And um, my feet are just like dying every single day from doing nothing. So these are definitely something that I would wear around my house, but that's about it. I would not wear these out. They just unfortunately look very cheaply made. Like you can even see around here and like this. It, it literally looks like someone took kitchen scissors and just like cut them out of a mold. I think they were kind of two on the more expensive side in terms of like Walmart. So I wanna say these were like, I don't know, close to like 25, possibly even $30, which is insanity. And these were from a third party seller. Like these came directly from China. So yeah, just stay away from these two, unless you need like house sandals or something. Okay, finally some clothes. I'm like, geez, all the accessories are like sitting on the top. I got plain black maternity leggings and these are not that bad. They feel a little cardboardy and uh, not the most comfortable, but if you want some leggings for just around the house or to like quickly step out and run errands in, I would like to say that these are a safe bet. They were $15, uh, which really isn't terrible at all. I feel like you'd only probably get them for one pregnancy though and washing them a lot would eventually like they would lose their elasticity. Again, they're not terrible. I have not tried them on to be honest with you, but I can just sort of tell by stretching them out and stuff. They feel like, they feel reasonable. They feel pretty good. I'm gonna link my pregnancy legging guide video up here for you guys. There is a space in your pregnancy for leggings like this. I got some from H&M that I really enjoyed. So these might be a good option for your pregnancy. And $15 isn't bad. Okay, next up we have a white plain dress. I have not tried this on either because I can already tell 
just from even putting like my arm right here that this is gonna be the most see-through item of all time. <laughs> so I don't know what I was expecting, but it is uh, just your sort of plain racer back sort of style dress. Look, you can even like see the tag, like you know, you just already know that this is so see-through. So this is a definite uh, stay away. And my original plan was to wear this with like the leopard hat and like some cute sneakers or like slides. And I thought that was would be like a nice little outfit, but this is just too see-through. The material feels a little bit, like it's soft, but it's not like super stretchy. So I feel like if it was warm out and you wore this and sat down once in it, and stood up, you'd it would just be like super wrinkled and like stretched out and see through and it would just be a disaster. So I would stay away from this too. Oh my gosh, you guys are gonna die at these leggings that I'm about to show you. I didn't even understand them when I pulled them out of the bag. I was like, what is this? So I tried to do some like charcoal dark, like charcoal gray leggings. I don't really know why, but first of all, they're like this really weird, like nylon material. They don't feel like the most comfortable. I feel like they would pill a lot too. And, uh, they're just like not very comfortable, but look at this band guys, <laughs> like why? First of all, I have a very, I'm very against leggings that have this thin of a band. It always should be a flap, pregnant or not. And, but what is this? What is this? You're supposed to like pull this out to like make the waist tighter. And then you can button it like this to like, so I guess it's supposed to like accommodate your growing bump. So like the sentiment is there, but like, what the hell is this? And then you're just gonna have this like belt hanging out. Like I just cannot with these leggings. And there's just, the seams are so obvious. Like these were just, I pulled these out. I was like, you have got to be kidding me right now. And they weren't really advertised like that either. They looked much different <laughs> on the like mannequin or in the picture, but this just made me laugh so hard. I'm like, who is doing this? And like, what was the thought process behind this? Like you could have just done an elastic band and then that could have just grown with the bumper. I don't know, it, like these were hilarious and like uh, stay away, stay away. <laughs> On to a few more things that I liked and I was pleasantly surprised with. I picked up a bunch of slides and I think these actually came from Walmart because they are George. Look how cute these like little white slides are for summer and for like the pool and stuff or like the beach. They were $25. Not terrible. Uh, they are a size eight. Yes, they're a size eight. I'm a seven and a half and these seem to fit me well. I always tend to size up when it comes to slides because I don't want them to be too, too tight on my feet and like make marks and like cut my circulation off. Uh, so I did size up half a size, but these are actually like really cute and really nice. These have a really nice cushion in them. Um, they provide great support. The only thing I will say is that this isn't the most comfortable. So if you're planning like an eight hour walking day, I would not wear these. But if you're just going to like the pool for a little bit and like you don't have to walk too much or you're like running a quick errand, these are really good. And especially for like $25 Walmart, like I thought they were pretty cute. I did get them in black too. However, these are a little bit different. So actually I shouldn't say that these are not identical. I thought that they were. These were only $19 and the bottom is a very different story. It's not a comfy absorbent foam at all. It's more of like a plastic and this was a little bit tighter and I wasn't as impressed with these. I did sort of like the style, but for 20 bucks, I feel like you could do like an Amazon thing and just get something better because these were a little bit hard on the feet. And then obviously I just went nuts and got them <laughs> in this color too. These for me though, like it because they're all the same color, they kind of like, have a bit of a different vibe going. And I may be willing to sacrifice the uncomfortness just for like sort of the style. But again, I feel like you could get something similar, better, cheaper from somewhere else. Uh, but for Walmart and the George brand and the price point, really not bad. Okay, I have another piece that you guys are going to die at. I was not, like when I was like pulling it out, I was like, is this a joke? Like I, I couldn't even believe what I was unwrapping, okay? Are you guys ready for this? This is, okay, so on the website, it's like sort of this pregnancy floral like maxi dress with a slit. And uh, it's just like a white floral dress, uh, really airy and flowy and like bump accommodating. So I was like, cute, I'll try that for like the summer and put it with some flats and whatever. But I want you to listen to the noise first. It sounds like a plastic tablecloth. That's exactly what it reminded me of from like Dollarama. And then if you wanna take a look at what we are dealing with, like, oh my gosh. It's like these, these weird like frills and then 
It's see-through as well. The slit is like up the middle. I can't, it felt like a, like I tried it on for fun just to like die laughing at myself. It felt like a costume. I was like, what am I wearing? It was completely see-through. I can't remember the price, but it wasn't like super cheap. It was like maybe $25, like probably nothing over that, but still for 25 bucks, you could do like a cute H&M dress that is not this. So that was like, I pulled it out and I was just like, oh my God, everything about this is hilarious. It's just like so cheap looking, so cheap feeling uh, uncomfortable like the material is so bad um, and this is a definite stay away from it and the sound like the fact that it makes this much noise is just like such the kicker I was like clothes should not be making this noise ever <laughs> I also got a plain white tee because how do you go wrong with a plain white tee and it turns out that you can go wrong with one <laughs> so I, it's like this puffed sleeve sort of thing it's really wrinkled because it's been like balled up in this bag the idea is that it's like ruched at the side so it goes over top of your bump and then i guess like the sleeves are just supposed to be like decorative but it's not the really the material like i feel like it would just sort of sag on your shoulder because it's like a heavier cotton so i don't know like how that's supposed to really work um but anyway it is so see-through as well yeah it's just like really fits bad <laughs> fits horribly yeah so this is george maternity so this is one of the one of the ones directly from walmart too and uh it was 17 dollars and i think like you could again do like an h&m or so amazon or anything else for this price point and just get something way better or honestly like up until you know even six months for some women you could probably just do like a plain stretchy non-maternity white tee and it'll, it'll just like probably stretch over your bump depending on how much you're showing so i was so shocked i was like there's no way that i'm gonna go wrong with this white tee and somehow i managed to do it so I would also stay away from this. So I think the takeaway from this video is that the accessories and some of the clothing directly from Walmart isn't bad. And uh, it, like it's, it's Walmart quality, like you know what you're getting, but the price point is great. And especially for you moms that are just only gonna be sort of needing maternity clothes for maybe three months out of your pregnancy, uh, that it, it is a good option because you don't wanna spend a ton of money and then like, boom, you have your baby and now you don't need any maternity anymore. So I think there is something to that there. In terms of the third party sellers, I would just say stay away. The quality is horrible. It's not as advertised. The price point, like if these were things were like $3, I'd be like, okay, like whatever, right? But it's like, you know, 20, 20 like which, which isn't so expensive, but like, the it's so bad for that price like the quality of some of these things and i would also say too that the accessories were more of a hit the clothes were more of a miss so just be aware if you are ever going to try walmart maternity just have this stuff in the back of your head know what you are shopping for definitely be aware like it will tell you when you're checking out like in brackets this is a third party item this is a third party item so if and then if you see that you can just like uncheck it or decide whether or not you want to go through with it the other thing is, is that it takes longer because it's coming from china so all in all yeah just my advice would be stay away otherwise the hats some of the slides were cute and I can definitely recommend those. And I already have and will be in the future integrating those things into some of my outfits. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys got some red flags and a little bit of warning if you are maternity clothes shopping, especially from Walmart. If you wanna see me trying new things twice a week, please subscribe to my channel and you can follow me on Instagram for more.